Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS movie review from the Tribeca Film Festival. This film here is called Slave Play, not a movie, a play. Here's a quick synopsis. Slave Play, not a movie, a play follows Jeremy Harris as he workshops and mines Slave Play, the play that thrust him into the spotlight and is directed also by Mr. Harris. Now, here's the thing about this, and this is what makes this such an interesting concept. Um, when Slave Play came out a couple of years ago, it took over everything humanly possible, every opinion-based thing humanly possible, because the the play is one of those ones, it, it causes a discussion, an uncomfortable discussion for lots of people. So, there were some talks about it being made into a movie at one point in time. This would be an extremely hard thing to make into a movie. So here we get to see Jeremy workshop it. And that, that's why he called this slave play, not a movie, a play. As this is just him bringing in a multitude of different actors to play the same characters in his play as he workshops it through just to work out the kinks to make sure the words work, just to get raw emotion of every scene in this play. Now, for anyone who's never heard of the play Slave Play, and this is not much of a spoiler unless you just want to go see the play tonight. I'm sorry for bringing this up, but Slave Play is about uh, a multitude of interracial couples. As at one point it seems like they're pretending in a way to be master-slave relationships. And it's all of a very, very sexual nature in the first act. And then by the end of the first act, going to the second act, you realize these are interracial couples working, doing a workshop about their relationship, a therapy session about their relationships and how some members of their, of, of this group are fantasizing about this master slave type of, type of sex play that they really are enjoyed with and how other people in this group are uncomfortable with that and then it just dives into opening up discussions and conversations about the dynamic of being in an interracial relationship that's the play slate play and it is very much a funny play but it's hard to get through and here in this doc we get an amazing show of it being workshop by a multitude of different actors like, it's so many actors, there's no need to name the actors here. The star of this whole process is Jeremy as he's just workshopping his play. He's talking through his play. The way he directs the actors to, to have certain emotion or slow down your speed here, speed it up here. Like, him just relaying to them what these words mean on paper as they act them out is it, some of the most fan, like fantastic <laughs> visual work I've seen in a doc of this form. And it, it, it gives you more love for the play and gives you more love for the director as he's going through it. But also for people who have seen the play and who, who are uncomfortable with the play, I think this is the type of film that m may lend you to be more comfortable with the words that are on the stage and make you at least get a better understanding of exactly everything that's going on for a play again that took over Broadway. And we get to see that also in the background of its record break breaking nominations of the discord between audiences as the doc opens up with a very, very angry um, older white woman as she's just spewing her feelings about the play and about how it made her feel as a white person. And then you hear Jeremy on stage saying, the play is only about the eight people on stage. It has nothing to do with you. But if you see yourself on this stage, that's something you need to discuss with yourself. <laughs> like it's it, it's 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 a it's a play on just how something so transformative as this play is can affect everyone humanly possible. And that's what you get through the course of this. You get some amazing work workshop scenes in this film of just seeing these actors work through it, show raw emotion, break down in certain scenes as they're having to go through these difficult words 
or these revelations that these couples go through in this play like that that's the most powerful part of it all like after you see something like this it made me want to see slave play because i remember when it came out and i said well that does not sound like something i need to watch but now it, i think just like it would did for me and it opened my eyes up to the work and just to get over the name which can throw you off even him explaining the, the name and how he came up with the name slave play is a hilarious story and you get a lot of those behind the scenes type of antidotes from him as he's explaining the work or as he's talking to the first group of actors who he actually had performed this play. Like, and you, you, you hear them talk about it or even talk about the doc and him saying, Hey, do you know what this doc's about? And so many of them actors saying, do you even know what this doc is about? Like it's, it's amazing to see in a doc, in a documentary where you visually you get to see someone break a fourth wall. Like purposely break a fourth wall in the way that they shot it. it. It's it's fantastic the way this is set up. And again, this just shows the star that Jeremy is. It shows that that the work that he created, how transformative it is, how great it is. And then you get these actors. If they're working through some of the most challenging scenes humanly possible. I absolutely love the point that here they made sure to focus on some scenes that are really funny in a sense, but they leave an audience member conflicted because you don't know if you should laugh, scream, yell, cry at some of these scenes and to see them workshop in so many different ways and him pulling out certain emotions from the actors. Like at the beginning, it's it's a, it's a story of a, of a, a master slave relationship between a woman and a white male. And as they're working through the scene of him telling her, like, speed, no, no, speed up your dialogue. I mean, speed it up. This, you're, you're excited for this to happen or you want this to happen. And the uncomfortableness of the white gentleman having to read these words. And it's, it's his character is supposed to be uncomfortable. And it comes across that way and he's pushing him to become more uncomfortable. And in the following scene, we have a white woman who's on there with a black man. And the actor is having to say words that they're uncomfortable with. And you can feel them breezing by or hear them breezing by certain words. And just to have one of the stage coaches come up and say, no, 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 you got to slow it down here. If it's uncomfortable for you to say, you're in the right place. Like, it, that's the way it's supposed to feel uncomfortable for you to say these words. And just again, you're seeing them workshop a, a play that is, <laughs> is a lot a tough for a lot of people to watch. Or enjoy, because again, it's a play where you don't know what your emotions should be. It brings out humor, but boy, does it bring out other these underdwelling emotions that you have to deal with. And just to see these actors work it out and see him direct it and him give meaning behind his words here. Him giving meaning behind the play. Stuff you don't get if you just go to Broadway and watch it. You get here in his doc as he explains everything to you. This is one of the best docs I've seen. It is funny. It is heartbreaking at times. It it's it gives you everything humanly possible to help explain what slave play is, but also makes you yearn to actually see the play. So, slave play, not a movie, a play. Again, brought to you by the Tribeca Film Festival. This is an HBO Films doc, so it is going to debut on HBO Films. I say sometime in June. I don't know the exact date in June that it's going to air on HBO Films, but HBO has, this is an HBO Docs film, so it's gonna air there. But out of a possible 10, I'm going to give Slave Play a movie, uh, not a movie, a play, wow, <laughs> a nine out of 10. This is great on so many levels. This is something that you, it's a doc that doesn't feel like a documentary. It feels like you're watching something grander than a doc as you're watching uh, Slave Play, not a movie, a play. And I think that's the most intriguing element of it is that you sit through it, you know that they're workshopping the play, but it, it makes you feel as an audience member of this film like you have a behind the seats a behind behind the scenes seat of a play coming together. And it puts you in that position. And that that it was brilliant to do it this way. When I say multiple actors in multiple roles, it's eight different characters for the play. 
on average, it's three different actors here showing up on this film playing one of these eight characters each time. And you see the rotation, you see the different range of emotion per actor and what certain actors pull out the performance, what other actors pull out the performance. And again, that's why it feels like you have a behind the scenes seat at it being workshop, at actors being picked for this type of stuff. It is it is so entertaining to sit through and watch. But check it out. Let us know what you think. This has been another JBS movie review brought to you from Tribeca Film Festival. Peace, people.